Well, it's a return to Ramsgate for the first time in a very long time. I find myself visiting Zyla the Farslayer here. Though she is a bit weird and a little quiet, shy, timid, but vicious if you listen to her long enough. She keeps a very close and watchful eye on Ramsgate and the people within it. Man, I miss playing this game. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and start picking it up again and delivering it to the channel. So, guys, I'd like to thank y'all for coming by. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe. And in today's video, I'm just going to give my thoughts on Dauntless from the start since I have been playing this game since launch. And I'm going to look back on that. To, to talk about some things that I know that the game has changed. I see if I've been paying a very close attention to it. Donna's has been one of those games that I invested a, have invested a lot of time and money into as far as uh, hunt passes and whatnot. And yeah, I, 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 I enjoy the game, you know. And I know a bunch of people who have enjoyed the game with me and whatnot, and those who are still enjoying it via anybody that's playing it across on what platform or whatever. Uh, I've met many people who have played this game and still enjoy it. Now, my thing with Dauntless is, you know, it's the, when I first started playing it, I was in love with it. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't have Monster Hunter Slayer at the uh, Monster Hunter not Slayer Strip. <laughs> I didn't have Monster Hunter at the time or whatnot and, and you know I wanted to play something like that so this game came out it was right on time like hey I said I'm like damn I wish I had that Monster Hunter well I wish I had something like it and then I look in the store and boom done this for free now apparently it had been out for PC for quite some time but nonetheless the game itself is it's a pretty good game. It's pretty solid, especially at this point in his life cycle. It's been out for a little over two years now, and uh, they have done a lot in the game. Now, given that the fact that it's free to play, you should know that I'm showing you right now the store, that there are cosmetics, there are paid ways to enjoy the game. But the difference between this game and what other games like, I don't know, let's just say Avengers, you know, because they share similarities. They're both you know pve style games you team up with the people you level your gear up you know the gear is a bit simplistic and more way more simplistic and forgiving than it is in avengers but the concept of the game is still the same it's a live service multiplayer pve style game excuse me a second while i sip some of this coffee <sighs> now with that being said, I'm not here to compare this game to Avengers in any form. This game is free. You can download it in the store. You come into it. It's pretty basic, easy, straightforward. You hunt behemoths. You acquire behemoth pieces. You use the level up those pieces and make your slayer stronger along with leveling up the weapon that you choose, which you have five to choose more, more five. You have an axe, a sword, pistols twin blades uh chain blades uh, a, a, a pike a hammer so you can use fist you know what i'm saying like and there's possible there's probably one more in there that i'm probably missing but yeah you have a variety of weapons that you could choose from and you basically they have their own perks and stats and whatnot and this is you know the you at first, when the game first came out, that was one of my issues with it. It was vague. You know what I mean? You just the, the stats really didn't go. Once you leveled the gear up to the highest it could be, that was pretty much just it. There weren't any excess stats in the game that made your Slayer stronger, yet they kept putting new content and new behemoths in the game that were either alert and buffing certain behemoths in the game to where it was like okay well dude we need like nerf and stat buffs it was too vague it, was, it wasn't enough underneath you know and then there were just other things that were coming into play like we knew the game had been available on PC for quite some time and there were things in the PC version that could be useful in this version like the field of view slider which they added to the game 
you know uh, then we were talking about ways so we can get uh for people who come into the game that they can earn you know currency and whatnot to get or earn old costumes that they may have missed out on that probably wouldn't come around to but yearly or you know, just adding costumes to the game period you know it, it, and new hunt passes the way new ways to distribute things in the in the game through to the people and they found out ways to get around to trust me they've been working hard as you can see here the hunt pass has completely changed it used to be items on the free track all the way through but now they just give you a lot of rams and maybe like 200 worth of platinum if you want to invest in the elite pass i think it's like 950 or 10 dollars 10 to 1000 platinum you can get it but my thing with the hunt passes and the way it's always been is then is this is a cosmetic game and i can pretty much go and buy this stuff and you know yeah they're giving me like enough platinum to me get the next pass or whatever and you're giving me a whole bunch of currency to help me get through the stuff but me i don't mind a grind you know and in the end what you're really going to be paying for is the stuff that you can grind for grind in the game rather besides platinum yeah they give you daily bounty tokens and whatnot every day and you get your keys to open up boxes in the field and it's just the typical stuff to help you move on move through the game but this game is not really that difficult to move through it's just a matter of playing the game now a lot of people were driven away by the way that some things were done in the game like hey it's still things in the game I'm waiting to see to this day like they started with a weapons rework and they gave us a new weapons rework on the sword but then we got a weapons refresh on the repeaters which did absolutely nothing but then dabble with some numbers which is not what I was expecting so I guess that was a repeaters we rework that they would owe to us they still have weapons like the axe the hammer the snit, and and the pike and if anything the 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 chain blades which i don't think is a problem people have a problem with i mean there's still things that they've said that they're gonna do that haven't been bought to the game but the game as a whole as a live service game it's still better the most paid games that are trying to be live service game and then when I say that you just know exactly who I'm talking about you know what I'm saying crystal dynamics y'all need to if y'all don't actually know how to make a live service game and y'all just looking for something to model the game after take a look at this that there's then that here's where in the reward cash where I'm saying you can earn the credits yeah you may have to pay to get involved and get a little bit more or whatever here and there but you know what the thing the overall thing is you're able to earn the credits by just playing the game and you can get it and you get a lot man you get a lot from shoot, if you play the game every day a few hours here and there jump back on do your daily boom 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 you get that money you get those credits and you get this shit fast and you can look as good as you want to look but that's the thing the game is about looking good and hitting hard and it's not hard to do either in this game you know what i'm saying they, i like how they i can honestly say that with this game i've been told by a lot of people man i like it it's just man it's it's just don't do it for me no more they took too long to bring to bring things to the game and whatnot like any developer that's with any game that we play in these days they're all shit in some way but with time they have a chance and opportunity to get better and i have that's why games like this is why i give developers the benefit of the doubt sometimes because this game pushed me away from it with it was with certain things that it was doing it's just the way that the grind was it was vague i didn't really see what they were trying to do and whatnot and some to some extent i'm still waiting on certain things i still want to see the rework finished out boys phoenix lab i still need to see that done you know what i'm saying and i still want to see you know more behemoths being able to be just out in the free world just smacking shit you know what i'm saying i want to see these kind of things i want to be and then they're doing it they got the hunting grounds where you can go out and just roam around and beat behemoths up daily you know what i'm saying as much as you want they got different areas where you find certain behemoths that certain behemoths you, you know you give you certain pieces of gear they still got it in the game they're getting better over time and that's what i like to see like i was saying some people may say 
too little, too late. But with Dauntless, I honestly have to say that I'm one of those people that are going to say better late than never. And if you've played this game before or you haven't played this game at all, I suggest picking it back up right now because there's more than enough to do in the game. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you you put your pockets tight and, and, and you're just looking for something to dive into with some friends for free. You know? But like I said, <laughs> better late than never. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like the way these developers are these days, it, it's, it's, they, they, they sensitive about their work. They refuse to listen to the people who are trying to, who are actually playing their games and trying to help them. That this shit's crazy, dude. You know what I'm saying? With, with Dauntless, I feel that they not only are taking that opportunity to listen to what their fans want, and not just that, but I, I feel that they're actually enjoying developing this game now. And with that being said, I think y'all may have won me back. My wife plays this game a lot. You know what I'm saying? She's not the type of woman who's going to go and look up the updates and whatnot. I still am in touch with the community of this game and whatnot. So that's, that was one reason why I had to keep uh, up, up on the, to date on the game when I wasn't playing it. But here now, I look at the game after today's update, and I'm starting to see a complete game that I actually want to dive back into. It's stuff that I didn't even get to earn from that last pass. And like I said, it pissed me off to see that they took all my currency. But guess what? There's more stuff there to get. And get it's something to do, guys. And, and with the games that we get these days, man, I think to we at the point now where most of us real gamers, we're just looking for something to do. So, guys, you let me know what you think about this uh, Dauntless here. You're going to be playing it and whatnot. You can catch me streaming it over on Twitch at Bearded Beanie Brother. Uh, so, if you see, if you're interested in whatnot, you want to hang out, let me know. Guys, y'all take it easy. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, uh, yeah, practice social distancing. Wash your hands. Stay the hell out of people's faces. Peace.